Uh, hello and welcome to Easy Grade. In this example, we're going to import a Trimble multiplane.txt file and just create a simple graded plane design. So the first thing we need to do is create a new document within Easy Grade. So click on the File menu and New. And we're just going to call this Example One. So just type in Example One here. Now the path should be in Documents Easy Grade Two. Now that it'll default to this. Um, when you install the trial version of um, Easy Grade, just click on Open. Just click the Maximize button here to maximize it. Now we want to import the multiplane.txt file, so click on File and Import. There's a number of different options here. Now we're going to click the select the multiplane.txt import option. Now we need to need to um, Browse to the multiplane.txt file. Now, this is also in the documents easy grade 2 directory and it'll be there if you've installed the trial version. So, find multiplane.txt, click open. Now, do you want a boundary string created? Um, what it's done here, it's looked at the, the text file and it's decided there's a whole series of points here with a B after it, which probably stands for a boundary. So, if you like, we can draw a boundary, so we may as well say yes. Easy grade doesn't necessarily need a boundary, but it doesn't hurt. So just click yes. Now it also asks you whether you want to create all the surfaces and contours. We may as well say yes. And we can do that ourselves, but the easy grade can do it automatically and seamlessly for us. So we'll click yes. And that's our um, imported job. Now you can see a couple of green blobs there. Just click on see for codes. That one's the master bench, and the one down at the bottom is the benchmark. Uh, so Trimble needs those for their for their grading machinery. All right, if you look to the left first, yeah, if you look to the left, we need to specify what sort of design we're doing. Now we can have either a plane, a constrained grade, or an all-way grading where the water always drains to the edge. Here we're going to click on the plane, plane solution. Now look at the cut and fills, 120%. Now here we can actually set the grades if we wish, but here we don't wish to. We just want to find the uh, plane of best fit. Now if you look on the little axis here, they, when the results come out, that tells us the the grades and things. Now I might get that to run up and down the the field so we can just click and drag that around okay now to do the grading click on grading now there's two types of grading there's grid based and triangle based now the grid just works on a grid um, so it's a bit more of an approximation or the triangle base uses all the triangles that are part of the the job now the triangle base is more rigorous but for the a least squares plane it doesn't really matter so we'll just use grid based and just click OK now this is, brings up a little dialog that tells us the volumes etc and just click we have a look at that and click OK now easy grade 2 has done the design and it's brought up a design surface for us and we can see the the contour shows us that it's a plane solution what we also want to look at is the, and if you look to the left there, we can see the cut volumes and fill volumes and the meters per hectare that we wish to, to move. If you're from the States, we can, the imperial will show it at in cubic yards and yards per acre. So now we want to look at the cut fill. So just click on surface three. It says difference, which is actually just means cut and fill. Now if you move your cursor around you can see the cut and fill for different parts of the uh, the job. What would be nice if we coloured that in so we could see what all the different areas were. So click on contour, surface parameters and then click on surface colours. Now just click cut fill defaults, it should default to that anyway. Now here I'm going to change some of these values because um, I've had a pre look at the job and it just so we can get a few more different colors shown. Now, this is by experience. So once you've got brought a job up, you can play with these values till you're um, happy with what it's bringing out. So if you look at those, each of these values corresponds to a different 
band of heights. Um, so I'm just modifying these slot somewhat. And you know, just click restore colors as well if they're not. And if it, you've ever saved any other colors, it'll bring up the saved colors. Now you can also save these. You can create your own color schemes. Just click on the color and when you're happy you just say save colors and that color scheme is saved for this type of surface forever forever after. Uh, so we want to show surface colors and we have shade by height. And just click and we will have a legend and click OK. Now that shows you the cut and fills around there. The light light green is hardly anything that's moved. Dark green's a bit more cut and fill, but still within limits of we're not worried about whether it's cut or fill. And you can see this light blue and dark blue there. The dark blue is a bigger cut area. And same with the red. Orange is, and shows you the, um, the fill areas. Uh, well, that's the end of the um, tutorial. Now you can export that to a Trimble control block or to farm scan, or you can create a land XML file, um, create an ASCII file with um, just point heights in it if you need to be. Um, uh, thank you for watching.